All right, the gang is all here, man. Woo! We are ready to uh, start the climb. All right, we're on the trail this morning. Uh, I saw the brief picture there of a kind of group of hikers that were with us last night at the hostel. Um, uh, three of them were slack packing today, so they're going to be pretty well gone. I think one of them is going to stay the night. It's going to stay the night again at that hostel, so we'll probably see them again. But uh, the other two are moving on, so we probably won't see them again. But a couple of nice guys, uphill and two tents. So, got a good start. We uh, caught the shuttle at 6.30. Got here about quarter to seven. We actually were on the trail. Um, and uh, getting started, we got a tough climb this morning. I think it's about two miles up, pretty steep. Um, so looking forward to kind of getting that one done. And then we got another smaller climb a little bit later this morning. We're headed to the Imp Shelter, which will be about 13 miles. And then that'll leave eight miles tomorrow and we'll go back to that hostel and stay and then move forward from there. But today, or I should say by the end of tomorrow, we will be done with the whites. So kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Again, today's the last tough one, so trying to mentally get get ready to, to get that done. Uh, weather's supposed to be pretty good until this afternoon. And then there's some rain coming in, so we're hoping we're gonna be able to get to the shelter before that rain sets in and uh, try to stay dry. But we'll see how it goes. So, all right, well, we'll see you a little bit down the trail. Joe's back, uh, back behind me there somewhere, not too far. Uh, so he's still alive and well, so don't worry. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Take care. Making our way up Wildcat. We're definitely on a steep climb here. This Joe demonstrates the proper use of tree and roots. I like the way he's protecting those new poles. Don't want to get them scratched up or... Man. Nice climb. That is. Good job, man. Thanks. You too. Just came to a little view spot here coming up Wildcat. Looking back over that way, you can see Mount Washington up there with all the snow on it. That's where we were a couple days ago. Looks like the weather's pretty good up there right now. Maybe we should climb back up there, guys. No, no. <laughs> Let's think but about that for a minute. Uh -uh. It's, it's week 14. We're going to keep moving forward. It's the day, yes. first day of week 14. Forward we go, not back. <clears throat> I'll go back up there when I take the uh, cog, though. I don't know if we've actually uh, met Mr. Freeze. Oh, yeah, I think I was in one. I think we kind of introduced him. In yeah, did we? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to ruin your videos. <laughs> no, no. no, you'll probably make us go, uh, go viral. Or as we say, we'll become a virus. Yeah, with all my followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, well, onward and upward. In the visitor center down there where we started this morning. It's like we've gone farther. All right, we are on the top of, I guess it's Wildcat Gondola. Joe, why didn't we take this up, man? Um, We didn't have the money. Oh, man, we've got to start getting some money. Yeah, the downhills are faster. Yeah. Yeah, I'll we'll have to check into that. Maybe next time we'll take that up. Making good time this morning. We actually uh, got through our toughest climb. Weather's holding out for us. All right, got some more wildcats to conquer here. So onward. All right, well, we didn't do a wrap up last night. Uh, last night was, or yesterday was pretty much a, a pretty hectic day. We ultimately made the decision that we would go ahead and push all the way back to the hostel, uh, which ended up being about 21 miles. And I think we're, we're all glad we did that because it was rainy and cold and kind of made a decision that we really just didn't want to hang out in the rain last night. So we would go ahead and push here. And then we ultimately would take a zero today uh, just to celebrate the fact we're done with the whites, rest up a little bit, do a little bit of resupply. Uh, and get ourselves ready for our push into Maine. Uh, but yeah, yesterday was, from my perspective, was good. I made a decision kind of early on that I would go ahead and push forward. And then Joe and Mr. Freeze decided they'd wait until they got to the shelter turnoff to make their decision. So I got in about, oh, probably an hour and a half, 
before they did. Um, but it was cold and rainy the last part. I got up over the last climb before the rain started, which made the, the climb down through some of the rocks and stuff a little bit tedious, could really slow just because of wet rocks. Um, Joe and them unfortunately got caught a little bit further up uh, with the rain. It took them a little bit longer or just having to deal with all those things. So again, slippery rocks are not fun and roots and that kind of stuff. But the trail, um, you know, it was what we thought it would be. Pretty tough up in the morning, some tough downs, uh, and then, you know, a couple of other little tough ups. And then the last probably three and a half miles was pretty good. Uh, the path was fairly just a slight down. So actually pretty good from that perspective. But anyways, uh, we're excited. We're under 300 miles to Katahdin. We got 298.3, I think, something like that. Uh, so we're excited to get into our final push. Uh, in fact, you know, our next resupply we're looking at is in Andover, Maine. Um, and so we've got, I think, roughly about 16 miles left of New Hampshire, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. And uh, again, at that point, we'll be doing our final push. So it's kind of exciting. Uh, hard to believe we're, we're this far along. We're in the town of Gorham, and again, we're at this uh, the barn hostel, which is also part of what they call the Libby House, a bed and breakfast, which is a pretty cool place. The hostel owner has given us a little of history of the Libby House. I guess the Libbies are the ones that actually own Mount Washington and all the things that go along with that. So, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Might do a little bit of video later, but again, we're going to be doing a zero today, so there won't be much to, to talk about. So... Anyways, uh, take care, and we will talk to you all soon.